you so much for coming tonight. It's a real privilege to play for such a full audience, and it's a real privilege to play, to play with some superb trombone players whom you'll hear later this evening. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, the, piece, the piece we just played for you should have a special place in the heart of every trombone player. Camille Saint-Saëns, who uh, composed all the way through the post-World War I period, um, lamented the fact that there was not much solo literature written for the trombone. The trombone was widely used as an orchestral instrument and an ensemble uh, instrument, but very little was written for it as a solo instrument. And so Saint-Saëns decided to do something about that, and he wrote uh, this piece, Cavatine, in 1915. And many people argue that with this piece, the trombone came into its own as a solo instrument. So I have a, a great appreciation for Saint-Saëns. For our next piece, we're going to uh, go back in time to the music of Georg Philip Telemann. Telemann was a contemporary and friend of J.S. Bach. As a matter of fact, Telemann was, was the godfather of one of Bach's children. And he came from a long line of uh, clergymen, Lutheran clergymen. His uh, father was a clergyman, his grandfather was a clergyman, his brother was a clergyman, and everybody figured Georg would be as well, until they discovered when he was about 10 that he was a kind of wunderkind, a wonder kid with music. He had uh, mastered several instruments uh, by the age of 10. He wrote an opera, I think, by the age of 12. Um, he just was remarkably gifted, and so he was destined, obviously, for music. And he composed uh, an extraordinary amount of literature. He wrote uh, about 50 different settings of the Passion. He wrote um, uh, somewhere a thousand orchestral suites. He just was a remarkably uh, prolific composer. And we'd like to play for you a piece written originally for the bassoon, uh, Telemann's Sonata in F, but uh, transcribed here for solo trombone. <laughs> 